After Alan had killed Johnny and Todlina with his lightsaber, he slowly smiled and said, You're welcome, everyone. Obviously, everyone was shocked at this. You're welcome? You're welcome for what? You've just killed Johnny and Todelina. But then Alan went on to explain, earlier that day, Johnny had informed Alan that he intended to have babies with the girl version of Todd, which is a rather lovely idea, apart from the fact that if a man ever has a baby with a woman from Spectrum Universe number 2, as soon as that baby is born, every single person who's ever been involved in the Five Awesome Channel would instantly die. A horrible, horrible death. So Alan had done the right thing by killing both Johnny and Todelina before they managed to have their baby. So once again, the spirits were high and everyone started to celebrate. Alan started waving around his lightsaber in a victorious fashion. Christina, still with her gun in her hand, started firing victory shots into the air. But what Christina didn't realise was that Charlie and Alex were busy flying around the room in their helicopters to celebrate the fact that Johnny and Todelina were dead. And two of the victory shots that Christina fired into the air ended up killing Alex and Charlie. And obviously, Christina was devastated. But not quite as devastated as Alan was. Alan was furious with Christina for being so careless. Why did you have to kill Charlie and Alex? Why? Why, Christina? So Alan charged towards Christina with his lightsaber in his hand, and with one foul swoop, he took her head off. After this, Alan was absolutely heartbroken. He'd seen Johnny die, he'd seen Todelina die, and now he'd just witnessed Charlie and Alex dying, and then he'd killed Christina with his own lightsaber. It was at this point that Alan decided that his life was no longer worth living. He knelt down next to Christina's body and prized the gun from her cold, dead fingers. He brought the gun to his head and fired a shot which spread his brains all over the room. At this point, every single person in the room had been killed, apart from Michael Buckley, who was still sat in the corner, tied up. Michael Buckley now realised that he was free to escape, so he wriggled his way across to Alan, picked up Alan's lightsaber and managed to cut himself free. Carefully, he stepped over all the dead bodies and made his way out of the room. And he lived happily ever after.